So we're going to look at how to write a higher order ODE, so degree three or higher, uh, as a system of first order ODEs. In our example, we have y triple prime plus xy double prime minus 5y double prime y equals tangent x. And uh, you can use different letters for each of these differential equations, but I prefer using a subscript numbering system. So they're all going to be y's. We're just going to have y1, y2, y3 on up, um, where y1 is actually going to be the solution to this thing. So at the end of the day, we'll want to find what y1 is. Uh, and we'll find y2 and the other ones. Of course, those will be the derivatives. So uh, y1 is the solution, y2 is the derivative, uh, y3 is the second derivative, and of course we would need a y4 for the third derivative. We don't need to go any higher because that's the highest it gets in the differential equation. So because of this numbering system, you can see that uh, y sub n plus 1 is equal to y sub n prime. Right? Y2 is y1 prime, y3 is y2 prime. Uh, taking a derivative moves you up in the numbering system. Now, how do we use these y1 through y4s to rewrite this ODE? So we're actually going to replace <coughs> the y primes with the y's that are numbered. Right, so let's take this and rewrite it with the numbers. So y triple prime is actually y4, right? y double prime is y3. They're looking for you, Justin. They're looking for you. I got a couple comments. <laughs> uh, y double prime again is y three, and then regular y is y zero. Y one. Yeah, you could do the zeroing system, and then the advantage of that would be that the subscript would actually match the number of derivatives. So certainly. Yeah, so, so why is that? If y isn't uh, y zero, then why would a y triple uh, triple prime be y three then? Because so I didn't start at zero. Yeah, that's just how he's Yeah. Here. Oh, okay. Right. So if you did, if you did start at zero, which which you know, arguably that would be a smarter thing to do, um, then the number would match the number of derivatives here. It's going to be off by so one. So you're just using you just your personal. Yeah. Uh, and you just make it. It. I might have done this because of what's in the book, but. I might have just done it because it's like y zero y okay. Yeah. So like y two double prime would equal make a y uh would equal just y wait y two double prime would equal like y three prime? Uh so each prime takes you up one number. So y two double prime would be y four. Right. Oh, that's right. So yeah, each derivative you definitely want to have each derivative go up one number. Now, we want to get back to a system. So what we're gonna do is work through the system backwards, and uh, we're going to solve for the highest derivative term. So let's take this thing and let's solve for y4. And we can do that just by adding stuff to the other side, right? So let's add the 5y3y1 to both sides. And then we're going to subtract the x, y, 3 from both sides. So here's y4 written in terms of the lower derivatives. Uh, but remember what y4 is. y4 is? Right, but it's also y3 prime. So let's go ahead and. Is this non homogeneous because of that y double prime times y? <coughs> so. 
So what's going to happen is you're, you're pushing most of this thing to the last equation. But even the last equation is technically a first order differential equation. Now, they end up being coupled together, so you have to solve them simultaneously. But uh, each one of these is just a single first order equation. And of course, the first two are trivial, right? It's the third one that has all the stuff in it. So it seems pretty easy, right? Uh, you can also write this in matrix form. Um, that's in the next methodology. So that's it.